Yes? It shall be. Consider it done. I demand that we stop. The day what is, is my not this long. I will do when my I best. Soldiers in the order. <sighs> it's long past yes. time for turnip tea. A little rest will shake you. Now! 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 Rest would be welcome, lest we endanger ourselves. I got some cheap beer for ya. <clears throat> I gotta stop dipping into me own ale. What is my task? Done. As you ask. It shall it's be. It's always good to give a little tip. Why, you're all such big men! Consider it done. What is my task? Yes? Yes? 
Opposed to what? Some grisly avatar like the Slayer? A cloud of smoke? A massive face in the sky with a booming voice? I am only here to talk, to gauge your threat to me, if any. Uh, if only things were so easy as that. But if I get involved in the whole ball spawn this, then my own opponents amongst the gods would intervene. Mistra, or Kellenbor, perhaps. And it seems that Aeon, the Overfather, has an interest in this as well. Which is very odd. He wishes this little climactic end for the Barlspawn to play itself out without interference from the rest of us. And so I, the great Cyric, am restricted to watching and observing. And yet, if there is anyone who should feel threatened by a child of the former Lord of Murder, it is me. There is just no justice anymore. I've been watching your progress for a while. Very impressive. I've formed a few conclusions, but let's hear it from the horse's mouth. How much should I fear you? that this level of the abyss, this throne of Baal, would give me such problems. Hmm. If only I could have destroyed it to begin with. I didn't need it. I didn't want it. I have my own plane in Pandemonium, thank you very much. Much better than anywhere in the abyss. But obviously I should have paid more attention to this dismal place. But it's no matter. Can't undo what's already been done. And if you try, well, that leads to all sorts of different problems. And I'd rather not open that bag of worms once again. As for you, I doubt you will seek my realm of influence. If you even get that far, that is. I have little desire to see yet another godling who might be a possible opponent. If you even have any power worth noting. I think you need to be tested. That is what you created these little rooms for, isn't it? To test yourself? Mistra and Eo couldn't fault me for aiding you towards that end now, could they? Perhaps we will meet again. For now, 
Let us see how you do against my favorite. I suggest you prepare yourself. Yes? Consider it done. I'll help however I can. Jon Jonsson, at your service! Pardon, turnip reflex. You need my skills, I see. You point! I, await I punch! Need. What is my task? Off the ground. What is my task? I will do my best on my honor. Yes. Saspinar is good servant. Oh yes. Yes. What is my task? Hmm? On my honor. Yes? What is my task? I await your word. Very well. On my honor. Yes? What is my time? I trust all this for you. Nature, take the life, Shiggy!
on my shoe ass. Take that, turnip paper scum! Uh, fall, creature, and people! Uh, to battle and victory! Yes? What is my able to see the justice I dispense. What is my... I will do my best. Yes. I got some cheap beer for you. Very well. Gather your party before venturing forth. Done. On my honor. As you ask. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Minsk and Boo stand ready. Yes, it shall be.
on my honor. What? Is there, there a lot more about? exciting than any circus? Manus. I am ready. Me now. Hmm? Yes. Your wolf shall put the sword, and I shall fight. presence here shows me how foolish I have been in gathering my army of mercenaries. I truly regret my wasted efforts at the expense of Amcatherine's citizens. Melisan recognized the taint of Baal within me, just as she recognized it in Sendai, Abazagal, and the others just as she recognized it in you. She lured me with promises of power and glory, but I followed her for a different reason. Only by joining the Five could I discover who the others were and plot their demise. Melisan is the puppet master pulling your strings in this staged production. I have merely tried to stay out of your path for as long as possible, anxious to see if you would prevail. Once I am certain I am the last, once I know there are no others, I will perform a ritual suicide. Ball's evil will die with me, but first I must end your evil existence. How many bodies have you left in your wake? Hundreds? Thousands? Saradouche is a smoking waste. How many other cities and towns have you brought destruction raining down upon? And as your power grows, so shall the ruin sown in your passing. Kingdoms will fall, and the rivers of Therun will run with blood. Further conversation is pointless. I have a task which I must complete. Your death is a necessity, Ballspawn. Righteousness oh, shall oh. prevail! Every hamster has his day. <laughs>
What? What is my task? You point, I punch. On my honor. The greatest of the ball spawn, the five, have been destroyed, Godchild. Nearly all of Ball's essence has been returned to the source. Your journey is nearly complete. The one you know as Melison is not a member of the five, Godchild. She is no child of Ball. The dead god Ball has not been resurrected. You must understand what awaits you at the end of your journey, Godchild. And for this, the one you know as Melisande will explain for himself. I am here. Speak quickly. You are here in my suffering spirit. You will answer our question. I am no dead thing. You have called a piece of a living goddess to you. However, you have done it. Should I become aware of what you have done, you will pay dearly. No goddess yet, mortal. Prophecy has not come to fruition. It will soon enough. Everything has happened as I wished it. Perhaps will be different. All of Bull's essence will be mine. Then explain yourself. If you are correct, it shall make no difference in the end. True enough. So be it. My name is Amelison the Black-Hearted. I, matriarch and greatest death stalker of my Lord Murder's Bolus Temple. Twas I who led all the chants in his holy name. Twas I who harbored his avatar when the Lord of Murder was cast down to walk among us in the time of troubles. To his greatest priestess did he come for succor. To my most trusted Deathstalker did I entrust the secrets of my resurrection. One of his priesthood needed to have access to the essence that would be collected from the ball spawn. One of his priesthood would have to perform the necessary rites to give the dead Lord of Murder back that essence. And so, Great Lord Baal entrusted that duty to me. After his death, I alone retained access to his essence, and my power grew as each one of his mortal children died, their divinity returning to the source. And so you have betrayed me, Amelison the Blackhearted. The time draws nigh, and yet you perform no rites! That is correct. Remain dust, my foolish god. It was I who created the Five, loosed the god spawn at each other's throats all the while promising those fools that they would serve at Ball's right hand. Well, they can, in limbo for all I care. It was I who masqueraded as the protector of Ball spawn, herding the ones that the Five could not find to their doom. I led the last Ball spawns to Seredush and had them slaughtered. No, that's true. I knew that Illocera would perish against your might, but I did not expect you to show up quite so soon. Still, you proved a fortunate arrival. Getting rid of one of the five without it looking like my doing was one thing. Hmm, but with you already in Saradush, I could turn you on Yagashura as well. After I let him into Saradush to kill the other Ballspawn, of course. And then... You turned on the rest of those paranoid fools while I distracted them. The five were the last thing I had to deal with before I could become the Lady of Murder myself. And you've dealt with them nicely. I have most of the essence of Ball under my control, fool. I am nearly a goddess. I control the entire Abyssal Realm that was once Baal's, all of the Throne of Blood. Do you dare come and face me there? Or shall I have to hunt you down like the sorry dog that you are?
Then why wait? Let's see how the prophecy ends right here and now. Enough. A battle here will solve nothing. Your course is set, Godchild. Return to your pocket plane, and when you are ready, you will need to end its existence. Then you will be within the throne of blood, and Melisan will be at hand. She is not yet done taking the essence of Ball's children. I suggest that you move quickly, Godchild. The final act of the prophecy awaits. My honor. Very well. Yes, done. As you ask. Shall be. Saspinar is good servant. Oh, Saspinar gladly serves a great. Ooh, you guys like it? Mmm. Well, mmm. I keep. Mm. Nope. Nope. Yes. I see nothing yes. more than matches with my recipes. No more shiny ones. Potentous. Oh, no. Back to cleaning, I guess. I what is it now? I am ready. Whatever I can. You What can I do? On my honor. Forth at your command. This is a lot more exciting than any circus. Speak your mind. Yes. What is my task? To battle on my own. Has no effect. New effect! No effect on my own! My has no effect! My weapon has no effect! My has no effect! My weapon has no effect! My has no effect! My weapon has no effect! Yes, I require a stop! My weapon has no effect! I will do my best! Point the stop! I shall strike! Oh. 
As you step into the abyssal plain, the first thing that strikes you is how suddenly alien it feels. A chill wind sweeps across an empty void, screaming in your ears that you are not welcome here. Several strange towering structures are present, suspended in the void by an unknown power. All your immortal senses tell you, however, that the powerful essence of your dead father is close. And that this place is indeed the throne of Baal. I see you have finally found your way to the throne of Baal. You should know, however, that you are far too late.
not words! Prince and rule stand ready. I wait for you.
may think this rude. But a Melathon has welded the atoms to her own soul. Foolishly. And there is no other way. The price of ambition is always high. Surrendering the essence will allow the gods to renew the evil taint and hide it well within the halls of Mount Celestia, forever preventing it from soiling further souls. You, Ballspawn, would be made immortal, free to continue your life for the destiny of your own choosing. The manipulations of gods will no longer be your concern, and your soul will be untainted. Once a Melisande soul is destroyed and the essence released, you may accept it into yourself if you want it, and the throne of Baal will be yours to command. You have fought against the taint of your father with great vigilance. It is most impressive. Impressive enough that I would be willing to remain by your side. The power you may claim will bring new enemies, and the attentions of evil gods such as Siri, who usurped your sire's godly role by the Edict of Al the Overfather. I will fight by your side and help you achieve whatever destiny awaits in the flames. Your future is unknown even to the gods, although it will certainly be a great one. The choice is difficult, but these are your two options, Valspawn. This is where your destiny is realized, and your future begins. Well, you know, it's funny that this situation should come up. It's not something that I like to think about much, but... I spent a whole year as a god back in 03. Mortal, without the taint of your sire upon your soul, and the 
essence of love shall forever be for you. You have done well, and freedom shall be your reward. What? What? Oh, I... I... Uh, what can I say? Your decision has been made, Gachan. Now the act must be carried out. Prepare yourself. divine essence slowly fades, and for a moment you feel empty, incomplete. It is frightening, but soon yields to a new sensation, one of hope. With your closest companions at your side, you are free to live out your mortal life, no longer a pawn of Baal's prophecy. The adventure draws to a close, but there will be more to come. Even as a mortal, you are to be looked upon in awe, and your power commands attention, both friendly and otherwise. Your life is yours, as are the trials to come. As years pass, tales of your exploits shall spread far and wide, and bards will sing your name along with heroes and villains of legend. Your life may be mortal, your time now finite, but the mark you have left upon the realms will endure.